So this is today. Today is yesterday and tomorrow is also today. You traveled through time to the present. Yes. Yeah, I don't think you get how time travel works. It's like we're stuck. You know, like a like a needle on a scratch record. I wake up every day right here, right in Punxsutawney, and it's always February 2nd. It's one of those infinite time loop situations you might have heard about. It's a thing where the same day keeps happening. Time. in a damn time loop or something ah! did i even say what show this was in the previous episode that one about stephanie de castro i don't think it ever said hey this is the groundhog day project minute by minute but who fucking cares you press play you know what show it is or your podcatcher played it because you're a subscriber and in which case you know what it is you heard the little sound bits at the beginning i don't need to say the name of the show i don't need to say who i am I'm Professor Robert E.G. Black, and hey, it's Groundhog Day. Again. (laughs) I'm currently on in this thing more than Tokyo.com because I learned a word this week and I wanted to share. Because it has to go back to, we haven't talked about this in this show yet, but we will. Mandala. Usually art done with sand, where it's art that is produced for the process, not for the end result, because in the end, it is easily destroyed. You know, Zen gardens and that kind of thing. Which has to do with the ice sculpting. Well, not necessarily the ice sculpting, because that does go away. But it's more about the process than the end result. It's fill in the time loop. I learned a new word for it. Or, new word that relates to it. If you need a good film to see, that has this sort of feeling about the mundane, everyday, learning to appreciate what you've got. Watch... It's on Prime and Apple Plus right now for rental. It was up for foreign language, or no, new category. International film at the Oscars. It did not win. It is called Perfect Days. And it is about a man whose day job is cleaning the public toilets at various parks in the city of Tokyo. For a lot of the film, he doesn't say much. He is quiet. He enjoys what he does. He makes the world a better place for everybody around him because he cleans things they're all using. And every day at lunch, he pulls a camera out of his pocket and takes a picture of the trees. Take a picture. 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 See, you gotta have fun with these things. You say things wrong, enjoy it. Leave it in. At the end of the movie, after we've followed him through Various days that seem very much the same. For a different person, for a lot of Americans, such an experience day to day would be fitting with Paul Hannum's Groundhog Day effect and the magic of Groundhog Day. This thing where we see our lives as stagnant things, every day the same. That about sums it up for me. Our lead in Perfect Days doesn't see it that way. He does what he does when people need to use the bathroom and he's in the middle of cleaning it. He moves his stuff out of the way, goes outside, and stands very patiently and waits for them. Toward the end of the film, it starts to almost have a plot when his niece shows up at his house one day. But even that is just a tiny inkling of his backstory. But the point isn't his backstory. The point is not whatever might have been a problem in his childhood, whatever made it so that he doesn't talk to his sister very often. It's that regardless of all those things, he's learned to be comfortable in his day-to-day life. And every day, he takes pictures. Specifically, every day, he takes a picture when he's eating lunch of the trees overhead in the park. And at the end of the film, they put on the screen a definition for this word. I didn't get the exact definition the film uses, But this is from morethantokyo.com. The word is komorebi. K-O-M-O-R-E-B-I. The title of this page, komorebi, a beautiful Japanese word that English needs. Because sunlight filtering through trees does not express the same feeling. 
Komorebi is a word that we English speakers could really use, and not just to add to our vocabulary, but also to our lives. Literally, sunlight leaking through trees. This word describes the beauty and wonder of rays of light dabbling through overhead leaves, casting dancing shadows on the forest floor. Like koyo, a word that describes the changing leaves of autumn, the fact that there is a word to specifically describe the beauty of the sunshine filtering through the leaves of trees overhead invites us to notice and to take a moment to marvel at this wonder of nature. There is a profound peace and sense of tranquility that one can absorb from simply stopping to appreciate the transient beauty of Komorebi. Um, I don't know who wrote this, but the, there's photos on it that are credited to a Diane Neal Tincher. I don't know if she wrote this as well. I'm going to check because I, I am going to check what the film says at the end. Okay. Found it. Komorebi. Wait, this is not the quote. I don't think the quote at the end said Komorebi is the Japanese word for. But how they put it in here, it says, is the Japanese word for the shimmering of light and shadows that is created by leaves swaying in the wind. It only exists once at that moment. Which is the point. This is the guy who experiences the thing at that moment. He's His apartment, one wall is lined with audio tapes. Cassettes. That he'll grab a few and put them in his truck for the day. At night before bed, he reads books. So he has a large bookshelf packed with paperback books. And he has a closet full of metal boxes marked with months and years. And we see the latest metal box which I believe would be November 2023, even though the film was made before that, where when he gets his photos from the developer back, he goes through them and either puts them in the box to keep or he rips them up because he usually takes his pictures without even looking through the viewfinder. So they're not always in focus. They're not always good, which is kind of its own metaphor for life. Hence the bonus episode. It only exists right now. Actually, I know it'll, it'll stay up. You'll get to listen to it whenever. <laughs> It'd be funny if I just put it up and delete it. If you didn't get it on time, if you weren't a subscriber on that day, at that time, you didn't hear it. It's very exclusive. Next week, Minute 3. First, I play the game. I think I have traveled through time. What is wrong in the end which never comes? Or which comes again and again? Laugh, laugh, laughing. Like waves. Since the Big Bang set everything in motion, everything that happens in this universe has to be the way it is. Man, are you hungry? I haven't eaten since later this afternoon. Particles unfolding the way they're destined to. How do you sleep at night? You've never seen Groundhog Day? Mm. Yeah, you know Groundhog Day is not a documentary.